Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin was salatu was salamu ala rasulillah. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'm going to talk about the six articles of faith. There are six basic things a Muslim must believe in. They are called the six articles of faith. Believe in one God. Muslims Muslims believe that there is only one God, Allah. He he has created everything. There has never been any good gods before and there will never be any any other gods after him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful and kind. He has no mother, father or children. Muslims believe in Allah and obey his command so that they can enter Jannah. Belief in angels. Muslim Muslims believe in angels. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the angels from light. They do not eat, sleep or drink and they always obey and worship Allah. Only Allah knows the total number of angels. Each angel has a duty. Some angels write down all the good and bad things we do. Belief in the books of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent many books to his messenger, messengers, including the Tawah, revealed to Prophet, Prophet Musa a.s., the Zabur, Pasal, belief in the books of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent many books to his messengers, including the Torah revealed to Prophet Prophet Musa alayhi salam, the Zabur revealed to Prophet Dawood alayhi salam, the Injil revealed to Prophet Isa alayhi salam, the Quran revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. Belief in the Prophets of Allah. Muslims believe in all the messengers sent by Allah, such as Nuh, Musa, Isa, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah subhanahu wa taala sent messengers to teach people how to worship Him and how to be good people. Belief in life after death and and the day of judgment. Muslims believe that one day the world will come to an end. Everyone, everyone who has passed away will be brought back to life on the day of judgment. The angels write down in books all the good and bad actions that people do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take out these books and weigh them on the day of judgment. If people were good in the world and obey him, pay his commands, they will enter Jannah. If they were bad in the world and disobeyed his command, they will enter Jahannam. Hell. Belief in destiny, Qadr. Muslims believe in destiny, which is called Qadr in Arabic. This means that all good and bad is from Allah. He has written everything that will happen, both good and bad, but people still make their own choices when they do good or bad deeds. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim Alhaakum al-Takasur Hatta zurtum al-Maqabir Kalla sawfa ta'alamun Thumma kalla sawfa ta'alamun Kalla law ta'alamun ilma al-Yakim Latarawunna al-Jaheem Thumma latarawunna ha'ayma al-Yakim Thumma latusalunna yawma izin anil na'im Abundance diverts you until you come to the graves Nay, you shall soon know Nay, nay, you shall soon know Nay, if you had known with a certain knowledge, you should most certainly have seen the hell. Then you shall most certainly see it with the eye of certainty, certainty, 
Then on th that day you shall most certainly be questions about the bones, about the boons. Today I'm going to tell you a story about Princess Halima and the ring. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. After the death of the king, the ki kingdom of Al Hikmah was ruled by Queen Aisha. She was a very wise queen. Queen Aisha had three daughters. They were Princess Hajar, Princess Hana, and Princess Halima. The name Halima was inspired by the king and queen's love for, for the Asma ul Husna, the 99 names of Allah, especially al Hilama Hal Halima, which means the forbearing. forbearing. One day, Queen Aisha called her three daughters to her chamber. Dear daughters, I'm getting older and there are a lot of responsibilities that I still now it is time for one of you to replace me as queen. She explained, she explained, if that is your wish, then we shall obey. They all said together. The three princesses Three princesses listen to the queen carefully. You all understand that there are, cannot be three queens. I have to choose one of you, said Queen Aisha. Surely you have seen this ring I am wearing, said Queen Aisha. Raising her hand, the three princesses all looked at the ring at once. The, this ring is royal. Her heritage whoever leads the kingdom must wear it but i am afraid the ring is difficult to remove i have to try i have tried to remove it and failed every time now what would you, you do if i had passed away and the ring was on my finger said queen aisha because the next leader will have to wear the ring I shall call a doctor to remove it off your finger, said Princess Haja. Queen Aisha smiled at her eldest daughter's answer. Oh no, the doctors may need to remove your finger, dear mother. That could not happen. Let me look for a jeweler, jeweler, jeweler who, who would remove the ring carefully said P Princess Hannah. Queen Aisha also smiled at her middle daughter's answer. Queen Aisha turned to her youngest daughter, Princess Halima. I want to hear your answer, said Queen Aisha. I, it, I wouldn't dare do anything if the ring could not be removed when I would let it remain on your finger. I do not wish to harm you, dear mother, said Princess Halima. Queen Aisha hugged her three daughters. Your answers were all good, but Princess Halima's answer was the best. I hope you will all accept my decision and always work together to help the people in our land, said Queen Aisha. Queen Aisha removed the ring from her finger. She then put it on Princess Halima's finger. A month later, Princess Halima was crowned the queen and, uh, of the al Hikmah kingdom. Princess Hajar and Princess Hana were happy because they knew that Halima's character of being loving and caring would make her a very good queen. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي زدني يوما أي ما الله نكريس ما نرجع forgive me Lord and forgive my parents and all the bleeds on the the day of the reckoning آمين
hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe and the subscribe button right there so click on it and subscribe assalamu